This may offend some of the liturgists, but the most important book I carry with me is the little missalette living with Christ. I take a perverse pleasure in how dog-eared and well-traveled each month's edition is by the end of the month. Canoeing, hunting, and snowmobiling trips have not been easy on my body, my breviary, or my little missalettes. Each morning, I need to begin with some quiet time, preferably before the Blessed Sacrament. And very often, I look with real anticipation to discover what is Jesus doing today in the gospel? Who is he talking with? How is he relating with his Father and the people? It is a richness that I know many of you share with me. And turning to his disciples, Jesus said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. For I say to you that many prophets and kings wished to see the things you see and did not see them, to hear the things which you hear and did not hear them. Luke 10, 24. For me, reading the gospel of the day is a chance to watch and hear someone I love. The gospel seems to stay fresh for me, and although my prayer is often dry, it still offers me new insights and glimpses into the person of my Savior.